we have absolutely breaking news on the blue brand of SmackDown. We got breaking news on Monday Night Raw. We got huge breaking news on a massive return in World Wrestling Entertainment to the blue brain. Remember to share this video to Facebook and Twitter. And remember to send me a super thanks donation in the comments section below. Ladies and gentlemen, Bailey's WWE SmackDown status is confirmed after her major injury scare several days ago. It looks like a lot of fans are worried about Bailey's status, but she has assured them that she was fine and she was later seen walking outside the venue, but she did have a limp. WRKD RKD Wrestling reported a few spoilers for SmackDown. Bailey is backstage at SmackDown tonight, and it was noted that her situation at the recent WWE event was just an injury scare, and it remains to be seen if she'll be used or on TV, but Bailey is backstage for tonight's SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news on the game Triple H and Cody Rhodes. It would appear as if there is going to be some sort of an angle between these two to play off of what Cody Rhodes did to Triple H's cheer at AEW because Cody Rhodes was more concerned about Triple H seeing the elite bits over throne smashing angle. We all know when Cody Rhodes smashed the throne, the chair, whatever you want to call it, of the game Triple H when Cody Rhodes made his arrival in All Elite Wrestling. Well, now it seems like there's going to be some situation brewing between Triple H and Cody Rhodes. And in the storyline, it would appear as if Cody Rhodes will be fired or suspended or benched by the game Triple H. And this would be retaliation. This would be retribution. Do you think an angle, a storyline between the game Triple H and Cody Rhodes would be money? Now, we all know that Triple H can't wrestle due to his heart condition. But do you think that this would be an extraordinary angle between Triple H and Cody Rhodes? Cody Rhodes having to overcome the obstacles and all the different detours that Triple H is going to put in the way of Cody Rhodes. Again, Cody Rhodes was actually more concerned about Triple H seeing and being the elite bits over the throne smashing angle. We all know that got a lot of people talking. Also, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Marty Jannetty is back in the WWE working in the WWE PC. Ladies and gentlemen, Booker T is bummed that the fight with Ryback is off. There was supposed to be a shoot fight between Ryback and Booker T, but now it appears that that fight isn't happening and Booker T is bummed about it. At first, Ryback proposed a Bellator-style fight between the two. Booker, while agreeing to the challenge, expressed reservations about the idea of having any credible sanctioning body oversee their fight. Instead, he suggested a more informal approach where they would gauge in combat if they co co coincidentally met in a public setting. However, during the latest episode of the Hall of Fame podcast, it was discussed why the anticipated match between Ryback and Booker T has now been canceled. So if you want somebody to set it up and he'll fight me and it'll be Ryback versus WWE and I respect and I represent WWE, I don't know why WWE came into this. This is supposed to be between Ryback and I. It's supposed to be hand in hand. It's supposed to be like back in the day. I'm talking about two gunslingers going back to back. Ten Ten paces, bang, bang. I thought that was going to be something like that. But now he's talking about he has to get paid for this and that and whatnot. So this match was going to happen. It was supposed to be a fight. But now it seems that that is off, sadly and mistakenly. Also, we got breaking news on the hottest event of the year, SummerSlam. Ladies and gentlemen, Oscar will defend her WWE Women's title against Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair in a triple threat match. What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that match happening? Also, viewers, Big E's whereabouts for SmackDown is Big E returning to the WWE. PW Insider has noted that Big E is actually backstage at SmackDown. He got there in the early afternoon, so the former world champion is in the building. Whether or not he is used is a whole nother conversation. So again, Big E is backstage. We don't know if he's going to be an angle, a group, if he's going to make an appearance on television in the ring backstage. But Big E is at SmackDown, and that is going to be monumental. And as we all know, Big E is a member of the SmackDown roster, and he is, and SmackDown is, on FS1 tonight. And again, yes, Big E is backstage at a, ahead of SmackDown. Also, Baron Corbin says that his sad Corbin gimmick was supposed to last only a two weeks, but people liked it. People took to it. The creative team kept coming up with more ideas, more compelling intrigue. So the Baron Corbin homeless angle lasted a lot longer, and I think they should have kept with that because that was something that was actually innovative for Baron Corbin at the end of the day. Also, Grayson Waller, again, is making breaking news in the WWE. He already, you know, tried to take out and mock John Cena. He tried to mock Stone Cold, The Rock, and now Grayson Waller is mocking The Undertaker. And The Undertaker is going to be at SummerSlam. He's going to be in the event 
We don't know how he's going to be in the event. We don't know what he's going to have to do with the event. But The Undertaker will be around for that. Also, Rhea Ripley is trashing mean-spirited fans' bullying tweets. And as we all know, a lot of people on Twitter, they're behind their little keyboards. They're a keyboard warrior. They can think they can say what they want, do what they want. But then when it comes face-to-face, man-to-man, they just back down. Also, the WWE is preparing to make a major announcement on SmackDown concerning SummerSlam. What are your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that? Also, there is a belief that there's a big freakout due to Roman Reigns. Why is there a major freakout due to Roman Reigns? Well, according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, there is a belief that Roman Reigns freaked people out backstage on SmackDown recently. Now, what the heck happened there? What went down? Well, while speaking on Sportscadia Wrestling Smack Talk, Ladies and gentlemen, Dutch Mantel talked about Roman Reigns' segment running well past schedule, st- stating that it might have made some people freak out backstage because we all know a couple of weeks ago that segment did run a little too long. Also, lots of NXT superstars are backstage at SmackDown this week. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Dominic Mysterio, there's rumors that he will defend his North American title tonight on SmackDown. According to BWE, Dominic Mysterio will put the new title to use tonight. The proven WWE Insider noted that behind this private Twitter account, that Dirty Dom will defend his North American title tonight on SmackDown. Now, I thought that was an exclusive title to NXT, but I guess plans change. Things go in a different direction. Ladies and gentlemen, also, WWE is heavily considering a Latino champion. Is the WWE set to bring a new championship, a new title to the WWE, the Latino Championship? Also, WWE wants NXT to compete against AEW Dynamite again. Can the WWE overcome the odds? Can the WWE adjust? Can the WWE beat AEW in the wars? We're going to have to settle the score and see where that goes. What are your hopes and, and promise? Does this have any promise or prominence for the WWE? Your thoughts, your comments. Share this video to Facebook and Twitter. Remember to send a super thanks donation below in the comment section. More to come where we always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Remember, if it's not brash, it's trash. More to come. Stay tuned. Sean View's got more for you. Why? Because I can, and I will. Later.